Well, I think I'm going to call the meeting to order. It's 7.05. Uh, this is Municipal Building Committee meeting for Tuesday, September 21st at 7. Again, we're meeting at 7.05. Uh, we have a quorum. We do not have Dave Wischkevitz or uh, David Phil. Dave, here. here. And he is here. So we're only missing Mr. Wischkevitz at this point. Do you have an agenda? I do. I meant to know. So, uh, first item on the agenda is, is there any adjustments that anybody wishes to make for the agenda at this point? We do have um, issues uh, by committee members at the end, if we so desire, but uh, um, now I think our main focus, if there's no adjustments. The only adjustment I would make is add uh, approval of minutes, but... Uh, I did write them down, but I didn't get a chance yeah. to type them up. But that's a good point. We can make sure that 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 is is <laughs> So, um, my thought is t it's going to be a, a, a pretty quick meeting. Um, Joyce Chunglo is our liaison to the select board. She really wants to participate in these meetings, and I told her we certainly will accommodate her, make sure that uh, our next meeting, and we'd like, and she'd like to have that sooner than later uh, to discuss Russell School. But at, that's convenient to her, uh, and I think that it would be very appropriate that we do that for her. Again, she is our liaison, and she's going. She would be putting in some very critical, um, important information that might be advantageous to us. So I told her that the mostly the meeting's going to be a general discussion, plus some going over, our, again, our thoughts of what we could present to the select board for Russell School. The nice thing is that, in um, my opinion, uh, Alan brought forward uh, a draft that was done a while back on regards to Russell School. And uh, this has five possibilities of what one can do with the building. Um, and it's something uh, we, uh, if we can discuss right now. We can keep all five in there. We can certainly reduce the number and I think uh, we discussed that at the last meeting that it might be advantageous not to have so many uh, different possibilities of what to do with the building to present to the okay, residents. But now we should bring up, I saw Carolyn today. And Carolyn said, are we, she goes, I, she mentioned it to Tim, but I guess Tim didn't get the email. Um, she has got a grant lined up that she's pretty sure she's gonna get to, um, do a survey of the Russell School for reuse of municipal, for municipal purpose. Uh, it's a grant that they're gonna study it and get back to them, uh, back to us with all the stuff, you know, what feasibility. Um, she said that, you know, even though we don't, maybe or may not have a municipal use for it, obviously it's gonna be an updated study that's gonna let you know what the building needs. So she said she would prefer us to put you know, wait until that, that, see if we get that grant, and if they do, then that would be another but, uh, thing that we could use for. Number one, she thinks she can get the grant. She's going to know very shortly. That's why she wanted does us she to have any, Does she have any idea what shortly is? I don't know exactly, like, when they were making the decision. But. And then my other question is, okay, um, and how long will another study take? Well, that's and, something we would have to... Yeah, no, but it's just questions. I mean, yeah, work. I mean, you know, if you go bring it to the select board, they're going to say, well, we've got a study coming up. Yeah, it, so. but, you know, town of Hadley, the state, everybody does studies. And oh, yeah. do we, study. we love studies. And down the road, you do another study. Because when we get the time. price, we want to do another one. So we don't know what's going to happen with that, so right. let's put that aside. What I'd like to do, if it's okay with all you guys, 
we'll start and go around the table. Everybody has about five minutes, or, or no more than five minutes, and just tell the rest of our members here what you would like to see with the building. Yeah. And just short and sweet and simple. And you can tell the reasons why you just want to do it that way. Um, we are the Municipal Buildings Committee. I think there's a lot of people out there are looking for our opinions of why, what we can do with a building and how we can go forward with that. So I'd like to just go around. We can start with Alan. Just mm -hmm. very quick. I'll go last because I've been talking about this one. Okay. Well, let me ask a question. Are we going to um, go over this survey as well and yeah. do our input mm -hmm. beyond this five minutes? I think that would be helpful. <clears throat> because one thing is, even if we don't do anything... What? No, the first five minutes, I just want to so see what true, everybody's true thoughts are. Okay, so and then we can start talking right. about the, okay. what right. we can present. Okay. So, Let's start with you. Okay. Um, I got, well, number one, I'd never like to see it sold or the land sold. Um, it's too valuable of property, you know, um, the history of the building is there, but is it worth it? I don't know. I can't say one way or the other it's to say um, dollar-wise to the taxpayer. Uh, but the land is, if nothing else. Uh, so I'd never like to see it go up for sale, and I don't even know that we should even ask that question um, in a survey. If we rented it out for 50 to 100 years, long-term lease to whoever, for whatever they do with it, when the town gets it back in 50 or 100 years, you know, like, what kind of shape is it going to be? And what is building code going to tell the town then? So are we just prolonging an issue or kicking it down, down the road where, you know, if it's 20 million now, is it 50 million later? Or, or are we gaining somehow? I don't know that either. Um, so that, I think, those are my two big questions. Well, number one, my opinion is don't ever sell the land, whatever's on it. And number two, if we do a long-term lease, what are we going to get back in that time? It won't be us. We're not going to be here 50, 100 years. But the townspeople, what are they going to get? Are they going to get another, you know, maybe it's going to be painted with a roof and a 50-year-old heating system? Or is it going to be just deteriorating from the inside? Is the foundation going to hold the building for another 50 years? And stuff like that and uh, I think Tim you would probably have a better guess at that than probably well anybody in this room at this point um, so I think and, it, and the other thing is if we were to go in the town to renovate the building I think it would be very important to know what it's going to cost per thousand and for how many years of a uh, tax rate for people. And actually that, that can be a good question on a survey later if it's a teardown, if it's a renovation, or a mothball. Uh, I think people to make an educated decision on what they want to do with that building should know what it's going to cost them in each year, each year or whatever we put forward. I don't know, I think that sums it up. Jerry? I'm pretty much in agreement with they I definitely do not want to see that product be sold. I think the property is worth the property is definitely worth more than the building right now to the town. Um, we're already finding out, you know, with parking lot space and everything else. Um, you know, selling it, it and then again, if, if the town can find somebody that wants to rent it, you know, it doesn't cost the town any money to fix it up, that's okay. But you know, I guess we're, you know, if you get it back, I guess we won't have to worry about it. That'll be a decision for somebody to tear it down and build it again later. Um, you know, and the building would still be there. But the problem is too, you know, you know how things are with parking and zoning and everything else in this town. If 
you've got to, if you rent it to somebody, you know, is that going to affect, how is that going to affect the rest of the center and parking and everything else? So that's, you know, like I said, everybody of us, each one of us have all got an opinion, but <laughs> there's five of us here and there's going to be 5,000 people voting on it, so if they want to. I'm basically somewhat in the same agreement. Uh, I think the corner lot is too valuable to ever even think about selling it. I don't think at this point it's, it's going to be feasible, especially with the economy, to find somebody that's willing to lease it. And then we have all those problems, or partnering it up. Um, so, uh, you know, we've, we put out feelers already, the town did, and we really didn't get a good response back. And it is because of the way the economy is. That building, to me, is part of this town. It's very iconic, it's beautiful, it's unique architecture. And I think, as a resident, I feel that we are obligated to restore that building, no matter what it costs, for all the generations to come. We are losing these type of buildings too quickly, and this is a very instrumental building for us. So, then the question is, what do we use it for? I mean, certainly, it's very limited because of code problems with the building, but I go back to what I've said for this last seven years. I think it would be the, the, we should do a study to utilize that building, which I think we can for, for municipal offices, take the existing town hall, get it back to its original look, because there is such incredible architecture under those 60 walls, that people would just be awestruck. We have so much valuable museum pieces spread all over this town, nobody can see. Let's make that a museum. It's right next to the museum that the town has now. Yes, it's gonna cost money. We argued the same thing with regard to the schools and did it really impact the town significantly? No, and I think too, with this building also, it, yes, it's going to impact us to some extent. Yes, and it's going to be taxes. We all understand that. But to lose this building, even to mothball it, okay, if it's $12 million now, if we mothball it for 10 years, it's going to be $20 million. What are we going to gain? by mothballing it's it. Just kicking it down the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's not going to be any better than it is now. So, I think my personal feeling was bite the bullet, get this one done. We've gone through two buildings already. This one needs to be saved, period. Could, could you explain, um, well, to me and maybe all of us, you said the building code only allows certain not zoning, but building code, certain yeah. things, or? So here's, yeah, uh, let me take a few minutes and explain building code. This is what's basically called an unreinforced masonry type building, okay? It has no steel in it. Uh, brick and block is great in compression. Works fantastic and lasts for years. The problem is, it, it doesn't work when it shakes. It falls apart, okay? Buildings today are made earthquake resistant. This is not. Uh, and we are required by code to meet earthquake. So with unreinforced masonry, it falls down. Because of that, they also say, well, you know, you can't just stop using a building. So what they do is, in the new codes, they limit the type of use. So they look at the existing use, they allow the same type of use 
to some extent, and it all falls under some categories. The school is a type of an assembly, a business. This was really business per se because of the size. So you can put another business in there. You can't change the interior layout dramatically. You can't take walls out. You can increase the loads only by no more than 10%. But you can, and you could do that by putting in um, smaller offices um, and sections and stuff like that, increasing it, making sure that you're not putting too much load in. But there are, you, you're very limited in what you can do. So uh, this you can't use as like um, a dance studio where then people come in and, and sit there and watch uh, performances because now you're loading the building up substantially, okay? So it's really limited those uses. So, um, okay, if we keep in the same use, you do a general renovation with heating, fixing brick, roof, walls, in, interior, exterior, and all that. Um, when it's all done, does it become a very expensive building to insure to the town because it's not earthquake? Resistant? I could honestly tell you, but I would say no. Okay. It wouldn't excessively increase insurance. Well, it wouldn't be any different than Goodwin. I'm sorry? I don't think it would be any different than Goodwin. Goodwin's the same exact same kind of yeah. building. Yeah. And we're renovating that. And nobody said, oh my God, it's gonna yeah. you know, kill us. No, that, that's true, but the other side of it is Goodwin is kind of in good shape. Versus, yeah, and it's also smaller. Yeah, you know, what what is there? Um, okay, so that you know, I just wanted to. Um, now, we would have to put in on a renovation over there. We'd have to put in an elevator, handicap accessible, all three floors. Yeah, you would have to put an addition on to to do that, mm -hmm. and that and you couldn't put it inside the building. Uh, the reason you'd want to do a small addition with that, and it would be essentially structurally separate from the existing building, so you know so you don't have impact the so existing it's kind building. Kind of the same addition you're talking about for Goodwin. Yeah, and similar. Like, yeah. <coughs> and um, is it just the west porch that's? I'm sorry? The west porch is what's separating and sinking? Is, is the more? north one is too. Well, actually, all three porches are coming apart. So yeah, they're all. They all would have to be short of dug down foundation. I, I think Tim has pronounced uh, the death knell for the one on the west. Well, the one on the west would be where your addition would be going anyway. Yeah. So that's yeah, the on the west that's, side, yeah. yeah. Because that's such, yeah. Because then you hopefully utilize the old bar pole right. as the. Mm -hmm. And that would keep you from somewhat in your yeah. same distance. And those markings that are, those tags that are on a building to show if there's separation of blocks, has any of that been moving? You know, uh, those are useless. Blocks? Those are useless, yeah. Okay. We, went, we went over it with the historical committee. Um, they, they moved the day after they put them in. They're just plastic uh, lagged, you know, yeah. tap conned into the block and half of them when they did it they didn't even you know it's like like saying in a gun you wouldn't hit the front side of a barn with the way they lined them up there was a separate study done a long time ago that was right when we were we as a town were vacating that building and was and that was one of the reasons we vacated it was because of the study that was done we did put some measuring devices inside right. and what what we found out is that the outside walls are independent of the interior floor system so we were having some movement in there the doors are not closing correctly and mm -hmm. stuff like that so what we found out from that study and you're talking probably 25 plus years ago mm -hmm. uh, that, that the, the floor system was doing this 
but because the outside walls are so heavy, they didn't move. Remember in 84, we had the big flood. That's, that was really a, a lot of movement was happening inside and a lot of cracking. A lot of, we had some ceilings uh, deterioration from there. And there was a one, that center room upstairs on the second floor came down because again, the outside being so heavy, even with the water table so high up because it was basically at the level of the basement. So the outside stayed, and the inside was kind of doing this a little bit. And we could see that from the movement of the gauges. And, you know, we said, well, okay, that happens because the water go, goes up. It goes down, and everything stabilizes again. So, uh, But we figured because it was moving so much and things were falling down, that was, that was uh, one of the reasons we got to get those kids out of there. But when they rented it out, a lot of that stuff was taken care of. It took down some of the areas. So. The building's not going to fall down. No, the building's the, not going to fall down. The outside stairs and the porches are, are you know, well, in bad shape. Really but, bad but shape. But the building itself is not going anywhere. It needs work, obviously, and there's drainage work and roof work and all that kind of stuff. But like that, if, if you're talking about the Jones study in 1990, which I have a copy of and read, yeah. She didn't find anything serious. I mean, she said, yes, there's a problem with it. And she explained why the floors were buckling. Um, nothing that can't be fixed. Right. It's not like the whole foundation has to be No, fixed. no, what it needs, needs, even the reporting was going to cost us a lot of money. Dan, you're yes. up. What would you think? Well, um, uh, I agree, we should never sell that property. Um, I, I don't think we should tear that building down. Um, I think the, the, you know, this has been through a few different versions, Alan, yeah. that, you know, this is coming down to something that's really good. It's concise, it's to the point. Um, adding uh, just for the options, you know, option A, you know, two dollar signs, option B, four dollar signs, and get that kind of information, but not necessarily hard numbers. That's going to be hard to get. Yeah, I, I did throw a couple of estimates in there. Yeah, but just I mean, just to let people know what what the range. The ballpark. Be. Right. Right. So if that's you know if that's the survey. Uh, thank you for that. Um, the, as far as what what could the building be? What could we use it for in the future? Blah blah blah. Um, for me, that's putting the cart before the horse because of the condition of the building and the the the, the state it's in right now. Um, I appreciate all of the what ifs, and I could give you a few what ifs, what ifs, what I think that building should be. But I think we're so many years out from that, that the, the, uh, the focus should be fix the roof, fix the water leaks, fix any, any infiltration, any weather infiltration anywhere should be addressed, you know, with, I don't know where you, is it a capital thing, is it a, is it a CPA thing? What, get the money and fix the building to, you know, not mothball it, but stable, fix, stable, fix the, stabilize, stabilize the, so that so that the weather infiltration and Mother Nature isn't fighting against you. And she's every day, every minute we sit here, it's it gets where every rainstorm that comes, it's going to get worse. And that that would be my focus at, at this point in time. Um, and you know that way, all those other possibilities of what we could do with it in the future become reality. You could you could easily do any one of those things. Could you lease it? Sure. You, you know it's 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 watertight now. You could they, whoever want, would want to lease it, they could put the money into it. But at least it's not it hasn't deteriorated farther. You know while we're trying to make up our mind. Um, you know I, I, the, the this building for me is such an iconic again you know piece of. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it, it's such a uh, uh, historic building. It's a historic building. It's architecturally unique. It, it, you know, and when this again, I'll say it. I said it a thousand times. When this thing went went up, the town voted for this overwhelmingly, knowing that they didn't have the money to build it, and they, you know, they, you know, they uh, collaborated with the academy to to make the building possibility and everybody was so proud of it the you know the you know the newspaper articles when it was all done you know it, and and how it was built with all these big round top windows letting in natural light you know you know that's sustainable 
you know, that's free light for those, and they mentioned it back in the 1800s when it was done, how, you know, you get all this light coming in over the student's shoulder and hitting the, the, the paper all day long, great, all the way around. And if we can't use that for municipal burden for some time in the future, some town offices, maybe school committee could put, to, you know, their, you know, move their offices over there or whatever, maybe split it like we did the Goodwin, because we have, you know, we're, our aim is to have multiple uh, entities in there, be it planning board or, uh, you know, the, the park and rec or whoever is going to end up in there, the TV5, you know, whatever, you know, it, it, at this point, it doesn't matter, you know, it, it, was, a, it was the middle of Hadley, you know, was this building when Hadley was, you know, you know, from Sunderland to, you know, Chicopee Line, South Hadley, and from, you know, the other side of Amherst to, you know, uh, Williamsburg. You know, it, it, Hadley was a big town. That's why the big common. It, it was the center. It was right here in the valley. And to make this like a Pioneer Valley Museum, great. That would work too. You know, could you lease it to the state? Could it be a state police barracks? Boy, I'd make a nice state police barracks. <laughs> you know, but in the meantime, you know, it's going to take a long time to figure all that stuff out and find, you know, a use for it and have the town try to toss it up it, fix the damn roof so that so that all these things are possible put the you know put the parking lot that we had planned a couple of years ago to to accommodate the parking for the existing town hall because it's so dangerous crossing that road and there's not enough you know areas to park over there and you know to have that air you know it's going to be our property why should we sell it it's it, you know the, the current housing market and real estate market to tell you what that property is worth. And it, it speaks for itself right there. So, um, yeah, I, you know, putting the cart before the horse, I, I kind of appreciate that. Yes, I do. But at this point, you know, let's pay attention to, let's get that, let's get this thing patched up. Um, because it, you know, when you talk about this costing more to do in the future because of, you know, rising prices or labor or, you know, it's just going to cost more, code changes, whatever. Imagine the amount of damage there you're going to have to catch up to. And it doesn't make any sense when that's preventable. The town still owns this building, and I don't want it to become a North Hadley Village Hall. You know, I want this, you know, the reason we all got together on this committee is because we're sick and tired of the lack of maintenance in these, of these buildings. And the mismanagement and miscommunication and committees and boards fighting about what to do about this stuff. You know, we just need to pay attention to the simple things, put a roof. Again, what year was this particular municipal building committee established and how many roofs have I done since then? <laughs> you know, it's just a ton of stuff has been, you know, it, it not done on this building, which could easily be done. And I don't know why I don't know what is happening and why people can't decide. Well, it's, oh, it's just a roof. It's simple. You get three, four prices. You get somebody up there, strip the slate off because it's too expensive to do slate anymore, and put an asphalt roof on. Take the chimney down below the the roof line and eradicate that so that the, you know the roof has no more big hole in the middle of it that's inviting water to come down into it. And sure, that's a that's a huge expense. For a town, you know, for a, a town building that's not going to get used anytime soon, but it's going to save this this historic structure. And you know, how many other towns have a, a building this nice right in the middle of town? You know, CPA has put how many how many how many thousands of dollars has CPA put into to cemetery gravestones and fences? About a hundred. About a hundred thousand dollars or so in the past few years mm -hmm. fixing up. And the people that drive by this building every day. You know, or see this building every day, and they're not going to—they're not looking at those gravestones. And some of those gravestones may belong to the people who put this building up. They do. Yeah. All right. So, and they would be saying, if they're not rolling over in their graves, put the money into this building, not my damn graves. Well, there's money enough for every for the book. There's money enough for CPA to do both, actually. Well, you know, CPA, it, you know, in this town certainly is limited. We, you know, we can at least afford some roof repair. Yeah. And it's certainly well within the the. Mm -hmm. Uh, allowable use of CPA funds. And where preserved, other, yeah. you know, other other boards and committees or is any old way they can find to grab CPA money to do their little project. And how worthy is this? It's you know it's the perfect solution for 
for you know to to you know. Well, I mean, we have, I mean, CPA money has been used for this, but it's more of sure. a of a band aid approach. Right. Um, yeah. And I think what you're saying, I I, I don't disagree, is that you know we place the, we place the whole roof already. We have a we know what it's going to cost about two hundred thousand dollars for an asphalt roof. And, and on that building, it's a yeah. bargain. Yeah. So um, yeah, I I, um, I agree with Tim and and and, and uh, Dan for the most part about the importance of the building saving it, keeping it upright. And, you know, in an ideal world, I would love to see some top, some municipal use or some nonprofit use. A museum would be perfect. A uh, school administration office would be, would be perfect. My problem is that I, when I looked at around the other towns and what they do with similar buildings, uh, it, it's, it's tough because um, because of the expense, basically. You know, when you're renovating a building and you're a town, you're paying prevailing wage. If if Barry Roberts renovates it, he can do it a shitload more cheaper than us. So the economics of it are not in our favor. It doesn't mean we couldn't do it. We just have to, like I say, bite the bullet and bond it over a period of time. It's like a capital expense. I mean, and but you know, I don't. That's something that the town has to decide. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, last five guys, we can have the greatest ideas in the world, but to say the town needs to spend uh, three or four hundred thousand dollars now to keep it up, and then maybe another eight million dollars to to make it usable, we're not going to make that decision. The select board can have their own opinions; they're not going to make that decision. The town meeting is going to make that decision, and how can they make that decision without knowing what the options are and being educated about it? And I don't think they really are. I mean, the DRA reports are great. We, who reads them? You know? Um, and uh, so, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess I go with you guys. Uh, can we keep it standing somehow? And can we use it for some public municipal use? I do that. Where I, did, where I differ a little bit, and I'm probably a, a lone ranger on this one. If it was a choice, if the town just said, no, there's no way we're going to spend $8 million on that building. We'll spend a couple hundred thousand patch it up, we're not going to spend that much money, um, and, and, and therefore we need to knock it down because we're not going to put any more money into it. I would say sell it. I would rather sell that building I than see it come down, okay? I totally agree. And, and uh, I mean, last resort now, and that's my first thing, and we've been trying, you know, the leasing and everything else. If we can get a municipal use in it, we'll somehow get some money, fine. If that doesn't work, maybe we can lease it. If that doesn't work, I would and and it's like it's going to come down. I would say look into selling it. Maybe there's some way we could still have some control over what happens. So we could so we can write oh, say can. purchase and sale any way we want, and we could even say you know if it, if, the, if Barry Roberts for instance bought the building and he did stuff in it, if he ever wanted if he sold it or if it changed the use of it from whatever senior housing, it goes back to the town. Mm -hmm. So we write a first refusal, so we have a handle on it. It's not perfect. It's not the first choice. I'm not trying to argue that that should be our first choice at all. But I'd say I would not dismiss that out of hand. Um, and if it does come down, what's the thing? Well, what are we going to do with it? Put a parking lot in there? Put a park? Put up a Dunkin' Donuts? <laughs> I mean, it's, it is a valuable piece of property, but it, it's to me, it's not the same without that building. Yeah. So that's my piece. Yeah. That's Pretty much a good consensus of how to go forward. You think so? Well, I think no, I don't think anybody wants to knock it down. But 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 you know, I think that some people would say, you know, this is just too daunting a task and it's too expensive and let's just you know clean slate the the, the property. I know there's people who think that way and I and maybe they're a majority in town. I don't know. We don't know. Yeah, until I, you, I do agree though with Dan. You've got to put numbers to these things. So yeah, whatever, right. however many, if you put three choices, ten choices, two choices, you've got to have accurate dollar figures. It, you know, and if it's one with the other one, you need to attach the option of that down well, the road. I mean, so we, these people are making an educated. Yeah, we we have numbers from 2019, and the title actually updated them even more recently. So a couple of years old. Those numbers aren't bad, mm -hmm, yeah. and and. Um, you know, uh, if you I want mean, to know how much it's going to put on, a, uh, how much of the roof is in there. If you want to know how much it's going to repoint the bricks, it's in there. You know, and the other stuff. The question is, how much of that stuff that he's, 
the, the DRA listed and the title updated. How much of that stuff do you need to do right now versus if you're going to use the building? Well, and the right care. now stuff. Well, anything we don't do now is going to cost more when we go to that. I understand. Yeah, I understand right. that. Yeah, you know, like yeah. Tim says, yeah. do it, bite the bullet, do the whole thing. Because how many times, you know, we talked about some of these buildings. Oh, let's, you know, we'll have to cut it back. We'll plan on addition. Well, yeah, the, yeah. the addition now, you know, you go through and build a brand new building and five years down the yeah, road. It doesn't get any easier to sell it. Code changes. You're redoing all the stuff you did five years ago and it's not even, you know, worn out or old. Yeah. Right. You well, know. the other, the other, uh, Thing is, the the historic commission is working uh, a little bit with Allen, a little bit with select board, trying to get um, a uh, was a local historic district or yeah local historic district that would include the Russell School. No, well, it's already it's already a historical district. I think they're trying to talk about a, a, a no a no demolition uh, bylaw. Right. Well, it's a particular type of. Scenario yeah. that, that able enables you to, to capture more public grant money. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, you know, uh, the I think some of the opposition from select board was the fact that once you do that, it puts historic commission, you know, or the board or how many people are on that particular committee in charge of the building and and how you know how to go about getting those funds and whatnot. And the select board shot it down saying, well, they don't want just those five people making decisions for that building. And right there, that was select board being those five people saying, we're not, you know, <laughs> we're not letting you yeah. make I mean, decisions I, about that yeah. building. I mean, I don't know how accurate all that is because you could, that building right now um, um, qualifies for a lot of, uh, of grants, tax credits, everything else, sure. depending on who does the work. I don't know that if there's anything else that the town could put in for legislatively to, to change how, you know, to change the control of that building would get us more money. Maybe, maybe there's something I never heard. I haven't heard of it yet, but. Um, I talked to um, Mark at the, the Mass Historic Commission and he said, yeah, if, you, you, if that building is in that district, it does qualify. Okay, but it's gotta be some kind of other district because it is in a house historic district right now. It's on the National Register right now, but it, that, all that means is it's recognized as historic. It doesn't, it's not like Amherst, the, it's not like Amherst has a control over, you know, they can put a one-year moratorium on demolition. Right. And maybe that's what they're talking about. Maybe that would bring in more money. I don't know. Certainly something to look at. Well, I, you know, as I was saying, they, they were, they're, you know, just trying to secure that type of thing, that yeah. kind of funding availability for, for a project like that. And yeah. for it to be shot down before it's even considered. Um, you know, it's a little premature to make that discussion. Well, there's two things the sounds good at: not making decisions and making snap decisions. Yeah, I'll give you that. Um, but uh, be that as it may, I mean, I, you know, if you if you if you slice it a little bit differently, if you say, okay, we're not talking if we're talking about spending eight, ten, I'm not even going to say the other word, the twenty million, uh, to, to keep it around, but eight to ten to do that. Um, you know that's one. That's an awful big pill to swallow, and even with all the grants in the world, it's going to be tough to swallow it. But if you're talking about one million dollars to put a new roof on and do a few other things to keep it standing almost indefinitely, it's still, the damn thing's been there for more than a hundred years. It's not going anywhere if you keep as, as Dan says, keep the water out of it. Uh, you could do that for for a million. Maybe the town would accept that, and maybe we could even get a grant for it. And I'm sure. And by the way, the CPA's got. All the money you need sitting there in CPA right now, 1.9 million, okay, and uh, they can't spend. They can't figure out how to spend it because people don't ask them for it. That's one of the reasons nobody asks them for it except APRs. It's about the only thing that they get requests for. So uh, and, and cemeteries, but um, you know that'd be a different kettle of fish. Maybe we have a better chance of getting that. So um, sounds like we. Need to wait and see what Carolyn does with the, that survey. I think it would be good if, if, if everybody is okay with the survey, we can just have it, you know, in our back pocket. Oh, know. I think it's, it's well. Yeah. Why, don't, why don't we discuss? Yeah. Uh, each line. Okay, because, sure. Because, uh, well, I made notes, and maybe none of these notes mean anything. But um, <laughs> let, let's just go and, you know, hopefully everybody else uh, looked at it and made some notes. But, uh, you know, to renovate the building. Uh, one of the things that says the town would be eligible. Well, would be, but the other thing is, and hopefully we are, 
but we can't go and let, lead people astray by saying, well, we got all these grants right. out there. Um, because a lot of times, sadly, keeps getting rejected because we're too rich of a time. Right. So, uh, you know, I just, I'd okay, like to get... What you say is, we, even though we're eligible, we made it, there's no guarantee we get us. Exactly. Oh, so right. And probably right. our percentage is on a lower side than mm -hmm. a lot of towns. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We're getting that money. So, so I, we can we can clarify that by saying that. You right. Know, and I, we can I be just, eligible, but with no guarantee. Right. And I just want to go and make sure that whatever we're putting out there is giving the people the most information without writing a book because if you put right. too much, they're not going to look at the thing anyways. Right. But um, and then also, um, and Gary hit on it. You know the. One or two dollar signs is good, but I really think a good estimate, you know, like, okay, if it's uh, renovated, you know, we talked, what, 22 million at one point? Yeah, yeah I still so believe that number, but if that's not there. 22 million is accurate, or if we need to um, add 5% on because of the last two years, well, we should kind of throw out, this is an estimate as of a certain date. Well, any, any price that we put on this stuff, needs to have a uh, asterisk a year associated yeah. with mm -hmm. it yeah. Right. Yeah, that's and right. that's one of the things that we haven't done much and we should estimate 20 20 21 estimate or whatever year it was because that gives people some idea that well it's, at least there's an estimate there it's maybe not perfectly right. accurate right. You, you could you could you could say that the big problem with getting these estimates it costs us money. Yeah, yeah. But we, we do not have anything right now. We don't we have, have zero. We money. have zero money. No, for I, I mean, but we so don't. We had Larry do the study, so we right? have those numbers from. So we from could even Toronto. just use those. By yeah, you can use those numbers. You can say you could you could say the rule of thumb for escalating and is a five percent a year. There Wait, should be a figure out that. that okay, construction costs went up. 8% in three years. So then people can kind of quickly add that. Mm -hmm. We don't have to publish mm -hmm. the 8%, but at town meeting, somebody's gonna say, well, that, that study's four years old. Right. Well, okay, but there's an estimate of 8% uh, increase in construction costs. Mm -hmm. So somebody plays with their calculator quickly and said, well, that- And that 8% might not be 8% if the economy isn't doing as well in construction. Right. They or don't put like that eight percent. Yeah, back. right. I, I've seen five, five to ten percent is. I mean, that's what I would say. I would say five to ten percent is I'm escalating. Just, sometimes throwing, it even goes down. Based yeah. On, I'm, I'm just throwing a number, but yeah. I'm looking at every single line or question that we put. Don't just you know we had a survey go around the town ten years ago. Would you like this? Would you like this? But there's no dollar cost. Right. I, right. Sure, I want them all. Yeah, it's like the kid with the yeah. huge catalog at Christmas. Circle, but, circle, circle. But, um, well, 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 but keep in mind, though, even if we had a survey and everybody came back, 99% of the town came back and said, yeah, we want option two, you know? And, then, and so the town then tries to implement it, and it turns out, well, okay, here's the actual cost of it, guys. And then the town has a chance to say, well, you know what? I loved it, but... It's too expensive. We're not going to do it. And that's what I'm saying. We well, need to put a, you can't a to, reasonable yeah. cost with the options, or we're going to get votes, like you said. They're going to be, oh, well, we voted for that, but we didn't know that, so now we're not going to vote for that. I, there, there's a level of a control there that, that I mean, you, you just don't think about because, you know, you, you, you well, it's, it's all this money because you're going to new, need new windows. You're going to need some new roofing. You're going to need new, new porches are going to have to be completely put back together all that stuff, but the fact of the matter is the inside of the building, unreinforced masonry, you can't change it by more than 10%. So how much renovation are you gonna do in there? You're not gonna do a hell of a lot of renovation on the inside anyway. You wanna keep it historic. You wanna, you know, it's, it, you can't take walls down and add load. You're really not doing a lot. Well, you're gonna build them out on the sides because there's no insulation. Well, most, most of the renovation yeah, costs, they'll be, they'll be it's not an insulation, but it's not gonna, it, it, the, the prices aren't gonna vary like immensely because of the use, because you can't really change the use but, by that much. Right, you can't right, change the load right, by that much. Right, but the main thing is whatever you're gonna do, and people don't need to have complete details, but they need to know what it's going to yeah absolutely well, I you know, line ballpark if you just want to like make, you know mothball at a roof and exterior here's what we're going to spend but nothing on the inside no plumbing no electrical is going to be oh, yeah. done 
you want to completely redo it, here's what we're going to spend. Right. You know, you've got to give them a true figure. Sure. And, what, and like you said, you can't lead them on to saying, oh, we're going to do this, it'll yeah, be all set to I go. mean, the DRA yeah. report is damn good, you know, and it's, okay, 2015, but I've updated it. So you have updated figures for that. Um, one thing, though, is, is uh, on the renovations, none of this talks about, you know, in, inside, doing anything inside significantly, although I think DRA assumed that it would be town offices. That's what they based their report on. Mm -hmm. But what they were even talking about is replacing electrical, doing the plumbing, he HVAC, did. all yeah. that stuff, which has to be done no matter what the right. use is. Right, exactly. Has to be oh, done. yeah. That's, yeah. This is and those numbers, price. I think, are pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, the lease to the nonprofit, my question was the same I had earlier. What, what kind of condition would, would the town be getting back? And the, I, What's that? If, well, we, the, if we leased it for yeah. 50 to 99 years, would, you know, you're keeping it for 50 to 99 years, somebody's going to put money into it. Probably be better condition than it is today, even 100 years down the road after they renovate it. I don't know. Um, that's just a question. Some, what some kind of condition would it be in at the end of the day? What would we have to do? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it certainly depends on the nonprofit. Is, yeah. is, uh, mm -hmm. is uh, Hadley Historic Society a nonprofit 501c3? Yeah, the society is. Yeah, the society is. If you sold it to the Hadley Historic Society <laughs> and they turned it into a, a boy, they could go fund me and they could probably raise a bunch of money to to you know and you know at nonprofit uh, you know rates. Well, yeah, but to, but, to, but, Dave, but Dave's question is okay. So we do that. They put in eight million dollars. They use it for fifty or hundred years, and at the end of the day, when it comes reverts back to us, we could renew the lease, I suppose. But uh, if we didn't, we wanted it back. And we want to now operate that building or use it for something. Yeah. Would we have to sink another fifteen million dollars into it's it. It's possible, but that's possible. what happened. That's what know. happened with the Goodwin. The Goodwin was left in the hands of the trustees for all of these years, and I they did a good job. And they ha they did a tremendous job upkeeping that building. Yeah. And you know, even when they had to fight the town for a, a bunch of money and, and fighting with CPA, whatever they had to do to get the money, they did a tremendous job fixing <clears throat> and keeping that building maintained. And now they're handing the keys over to the town. You know, I think the town should, should they should grant the trustees that building and have, let them do the same thing, knowing the town's track record on well, maintenance. The, the library well, looked at that. It all comes out to be built and, and turn into the library. So. Yeah, and there's no way they could do it. Yeah. But because it, it cost too much money, and here right. we are. I, you know, I, so I guess the question is, we'll, back to the same guy right. before the war. Anyways, that, that was just a thought on that yeah. on that one question. The sell to a nonprofit. I don't care. Well, no. they, I, I just, the sell part, I think we should take it right out of this. Yeah, uh, I, I totally this agree. This questionnaire. And you know, like Alan, you brought up the last resort. Well, maybe that's a last resort, but I don't think we're at a last resort part where should, we should even be asking that question. So, well, you know, would you, would you be, wouldn't it be interesting to know if, if the majority of people in town said, no way should you ever sell that building? I don't care if it comes down. Don't sell it. Don't sell that property. You might get that. I mean, who knows? You might very well, well get that. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. Um, you might get 99 percent of people saying we don't want it sold. We, we right. don't want it. Sold. Yes, exactly. And then that takes that off. That that yeah. that well, case. Yeah, in that case, it's an option. Gonna, it's an option you don't work. even look at. And this is but, what it's going to be. Yeah, but I mean, I would rather hear from the town yeah. than from us and the select board. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I I, I don't want to do it either. Okay, but. From your opinion, and you know, you're you're a big guy on saving this, and that's fine. But what happens if everybody says sell the thing? It's a piece of junk, and then you're going to be saying, "Crap! I wish I never put that in there." Yeah, I, that's I, the then I'll be saying, "I wish I hadn't spent the last all these years on this building committee." Right. So, <laughs> so to me, I know it's a gamble. Everybody here gamble, yep. says yeah. that that property is very important to have it. Right. Well, well, this is the property, this is the land, and this is the building. All right, but even if the building isn't there, it's and I know you guys don't want to hear that, but even if the building isn't there, that property is still so valuable because if it's sold, we, we don't have you got, you got to have all kinds of restrictions because you need a driveway for the school. Um, we want parking over there. You never have an option of putting any kind of town building. If this place, if the town hall burnt down, maybe you'd want to put it over there or, or something. Over here, eminent domain? Yeah, but, yeah. you know, how's that go over? 
Well, well, I don't know. I mean, if the town well, wanted it bad it, enough, it, it, the point is, yeah. we own it. Why would we? Why sell it? You know. You talk, no, I, I agree. You well, talk about well, why? Why? Because we can't there. afford to fix the building up. That's well, the well, issue. I get you. You look at it like this. If the building, if it was an earthquake tomorrow, and the building fell down, would you want to sell the property? Yeah. No. No, absolutely. Okay, no. So, so there, there you go. go. That, that's perfect. Which is why leasing is the is to me the best option. All right, but, but, but I'm just I'm not that's, now. that's okay. why G needs to be changed. Yeah. And to, G says what was demolition of building and sell the land. No, demolish the building, but don't sell the land. That's oh no, no that's it. See, it's F. So you see, was and it? that's F. Yeah, and that's F. G Lost should come. Retain land. So, G okay, so you can take G right out. I, I'm Take okay it that. all out. Yeah. I just wanted to be thorough in all the options. But yeah, if that's something that nobody would support. Well, now, okay, so what you're saying, demolish building and retain land. Yeah, right? so we keep that yeah. option, so get rid of the other so Just get rid of G. Yeah, that's good. That will narrow it down. All right. And, I, and I, I, how, about, how about instead of saying stabilize mothball the building, because I think we had a good discussion about that. We're really talking about stabilizing the building. Yeah. Not not mothballing. I mean, if, mm -hmm. th there aren't really strict definitions of those. But my idea of mothballing the building is you you're almost hermetically sealing it, and you know it's like a battleship that you mothball. Whereas we're just trying to keep it from falling down. We're trying to keep water infiltration out, which is not as expensive as mothballing it. Okay, so if you're gonna put that in, then yeah, you should say, um, which would include. New roof, i.e., roof. Um, what else, Tim? Yeah, there's there about five place? things. I actually have it on a list here. Is it the brickwork or yeah. take down on one of those porches you talked about? Or, you know, there's certain things that people would. Well, I, I, I came up with 1.6 million. It includes five things, five or six things. It's just off the top of my head. So, a new roof, uh, stabilizing the, 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 the granite. Battered granite blocks, repointing the bricks, painting the trim on the outside uh, trim, uh, doing some foundation. Some, uh, there's some. It says grade uh, up, upgrade the the. There's a, the uh, west side. Yeah, it's the west side basically where it goes where it's low. Uh, fix that. That's actually a pretty expensive item. That one. Yeah. It's about six hundred grand, um, and maybe one others. But it came, when I added it up, using Tuttle's. Updated figures 1.6. Yeah, that's, yeah. And, and and I said that in the in this in the in the discussion I said somewhere I thought I said something about one to two million dollars. Yeah, stabilize the building. Yeah, use of CPA estimated one to two million. Okay, so that number is in there. Yeah, you can make it more specific. Say 1.6. And, and, and list the things that you're going to do. I think if you listed the things you're going to do, like Dan says, you. Make sure it's watertight and, and whatnot. Yeah. And especially if you get most of that money out of CPA money, you got it. it yeah. No, so going to argue that point. Do we all, are we all agreeing that something like this needs to go out to all the residents? And maybe with some some yeah. footnotes with with pricing at the end? I would say, say definitely so. pricing. What, um, I, I think we kind so of. So, this type of. Yeah, so, yeah we're okay with the survey in general. And then the question we is, all with the caveat that we have to tighten up the yeah. numbers. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll yeah. play around with the language, wording and stuff, the numbers, right? and put the fo footnotes on for pricing and what's, no. what it means. And if the grant, the, that feasibility study is something that gets done and gets rolled over into here, we can. Yeah. Adjust. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That we, 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 could, we, could, we could do this on the selling, because I think the thing that maybe there's a. Uh, the most uncertainty about is whether we should say anything about selling. Okay, I think the renovating for you, the leasing, the stabilizing, demolish and retain the land. That those are real options. Uh, the one about yeah, selling. Exactly. Maybe we could just if we leave out the one about selling. Okay, yeah, we could put, you just leave it out. But we could. Or maybe, we could just say not supported by. No, exactly. Most. Right. We say selling. This is an option. But However, not supported, it's not supported by, by the MVC or. Yeah. You know, like I, don't, I don't support selling it. If, if yeah. there was like a, a town, um, yeah, it's a, a town, it's a town resource. nonprofit, you know, yeah. like the Friends of um, Russell School, um, you made up a committee and, and that was like a legal thing where they would own it versus a town, 
Well, then, okay. But you'd also have to write it the deed if something happened to that group. Right. Come back yeah. to the hotel. But that, yeah. that's for attorneys to Well, yeah. But yeah. I mean, it's, it's not going to be supported by us. It's not going to be supported by historical, and there's going to be others that are not going to support it. So we put it as not supported by town committee. The people who support it would be the people who want to buy it. Well, actually, actually, we don't support. I mean, I don't support demolishing the building, and retaining the land either. But uh, you know, it may come to that. That's give the problem. Give it a choice. Yeah, it's still a choice. And people okay. should, you know. I mean, I don't, would, you, would, you wouldn't it be interesting to know what percentage of people in town would say, yeah, you know what, get rid of it. We'll keep, we'll keep the land. Yeah. I, I want to make sure that the survey That's always your question, but selling your property, yeah. I don't think is something we should, well, I mean, yeah, I guess we could say it and not support it. We don't want to push it forward. I don't think it's, I don't think people would do that. Okay. I just want to make, you know, see, you know, get, get the survey out. You know, several times. Make sure that people have oh, a yeah. good opportunity to, to uh, respond. I don't know about several times because that's like. Um, well, in a short period of time. I was saying I'll go. Yeah, you, you, you have to publicize it. You have to make yeah. an effort you have to get it out there. And we've done it, this yeah. before with the uh, master plan, uh, although that wasn't a great effort. But, but the, there's ways of doing it now. I think what we get, the, the steps are okay, we kind of like the idea of the survey, we sort of. 90% of it, we tweak it a little bit. Mm -hmm. We have to get the select board to say it's okay to do it, okay? So, and then the timing of it. Do we wait for the feasibility study or whatever? Well, we got to see what this... Right. I mean, this oh. may or may not happen, but we shortly we should know if it's going to happen, how long it's going to take, yeah. and what it's going to be. If it's right. too long and you know, whatever, the select board wants to go ahead without it, then I guess... No, that's, that's fine. I, I, yeah, I go ahead without it, uh, but because I don't think it's going to... I mean, personally, I don't think it should be another survey. I yeah. think mailing stuff out. You mean another study? No, I mean, how we're going to go about this. Oh, I don't well, think this... we should mail it out like a survey, like you said, the long-range well, planning. The be, the I would like way... to see it as a non-binding vote oh. at a town meeting, if they can do that. Is that possible? Well, yeah. Or on a ballot I don't, question? No, I, I, I'm against that. Why? Because it's too... Non-binding. I don't think it's, it's non-binding or not. It, 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 it's hard to write a non-binding referendum question that looks like this. Yeah, because it's you, too, it's you know, too people simple. would be sitting there uh, for 15 yeah. minutes each reading this thing, trying to figure right. out. I, I would do the survey. I would do a survey. You know what, you know what happens with surveys? The people that want to fill it out, fill it out. When it comes time to vote, well, all of a sudden the odds have changed. Well, 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 survey's not buying the people that are. Well, that's true, too. Thing. I mean, well, it, that's what happens. When it gets down to meat yeah. and potatoes, yeah. everybody so, shows up. So I think we Right, exactly. Yeah. If we did a survey where it didn't cost anybody to go and mail back because they don't want to spend the fifty oh, cents on Online is the key. Yeah, survey monkey. Oh, something survey like monkey. Yeah. Well, you got a lot of people telling yeah. them. Well, yeah, but you could. There's it's ways to get tool, it out there anyway, and I a think, lot of people are using it. I mean, it's one tool that, yeah. that will work for a part of it. And I think now the, the senior center is getting uh, such a big pull and draw. They can really help. Sure. Get, yeah. You, you get could have you could have paper money. copies of this lying around in the or senior the survey center library. library. Right, and, and a drop box it, to put and in. have a drop box for people to do it. I mean, it most of people under forty. Or you could send it out. You could mail it. That bill. costs money. Yeah, so you you know, send it with the water, water bill. bill. There you go. Right, the other part that that I think is way overlooked is that you know that you should be surveying a, a much younger generation. The people who are going to inherit this. You know, <laughs> oh, get, totally get, agree, get, get the kids in the school because I was asked when, I, when, I, was a kid, idea. when I was in Hopkins Academy they asked me if I wanted to be part of the long range plan, planning committee and I said no and boy did I kick myself in the butt for that you know I think things would have turned out a lot different if I had you know as a kid I was like what, what difference am I going to make but I tell you what kids can make a difference Maybe we should you know it. I'm mm -hmm. I'm willing to go to uh, sit down with Annie and talk yeah. to her about this Maybe she'll do some big whole um, school thing that then we can get up and talk about the building and we bring the historical in and, and make it a big yeah, thing. Sure. Let's see what we can do. I'll that's talk a, great, a great idea to, to have people behind it this half of the map. meeting. Yeah, and then they, the kids can go back and talk to their parents and <laughs> yeah. they'll get more yeah. information. Yeah, Absolutely. So let's see what we can but do. They, they got to get behind the survey because we should not be. It, any one of us shouldn't be trying to sway the survey one way or another. No, right. I agree. We have to go and be we write it up, up and front, we set it up. As yeah. much information without writing a book on every question. Right. You go and you say, okay, this is what it's going to entail. Your mothballing, or whatever we're calling it at this point. Here's what's included. Here's what's. This not. This is what it's included. This is about the cost. This is what it's going to cost to tear it down. This is what it's going to cost for the Tom and Hadley to read. 
renovate it so it's useful by today's code as much as we can get to mm -hmm. that's allowable do you want to sell it no we all voted everybody's here in agreement i think that we don't want to sell the property at least or do we want to do a long-term lease to somebody I think well, but we don't yeah. sway it one way or another. Yeah. We've got to be honest with this thing. We've got to put the numbers forward in that telegram. And then, yeah. and then give it to uh, maybe next time Joyce would give us some idea how to present it to the town. Yeah. yeah. Send it out. Get it out. Okay. Well, you know who did a great job is is the library. Is that not a lot of people were behind that library. And boy, it caused a bunch of stir. And the, the vote was really close when it came down to the library. And they got the public interested yeah. the, the library you know they voted to to capture that money for a grant and the building committee was you know they really couldn't vote against it because we're about new buildings we're about building we're about good but we're we need these buildings we our buildings are crumbling we need new buildings and we need them to be efficient and boy this one went up that one went up and the fire station went up why did the public support that because it was a need. It was desperately needed. Well, yeah, they, I think the town also did a pretty good job of, of uh, smoothing out the, the the hit, the financial hit over a period of time. Where we didn't, the tax rate didn't jump by five dollars. It did jump, but it, it didn't jump. jump an enormous amount. People well, said, "Fine, so Tim." Um, I think you have a different um, question here than I do. I got this thing. That is this the same? I got this thing. The one I sent out should, yeah. should have uh, four yeah, pages. Four pages. Okay. It's, it's well, I, print, I printed two. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. You main. should say September 2, 2021 okay. on it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. If you don't have it all, I can send it to you, David. All right. Oh, I probably have it. Yeah. All right. That was good. All right. Again, some, somewhere. I think somewhere. that pretty good. Right. Um, Joyce is going to come and tell us to knock it down. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. Yeah, but that's one, per, one person. So a good one. I was hoping that we would have had the specs by now. Um, I did e uh, text Larry asking him what the status was. I did not get a response back last week on it. We did get some more updates on um, uh, progress uh, drawings that he has. So I think everything's going, but a little bit slower than we anticipated right now. So. Um, uh, hope, hopefully we'll have something at our next meeting, which is, should be uh, soon. Uh, the status of the painting project at the Town Hall Pillars. That has generally been handed over to uh, Carolyn and the powers to be to get, a, to get those specs out and see where we are. Uh, well, we're waiting on CPA. Yeah. Approval. Mm -hmm. And then. Yeah, I'm, th I'm sorry, you're absolutely right. I did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Getting my, um, my, my brain in order on this. Uh, I did go to CPA uh, with a proposal. I did not have an estimate at the time that was accurate. They accepted the, the uh, um, application. But at their next meeting, which is next Monday, I have to um, price, revise price. the uh, estimate for, for the um, uh, restoration portion. So I have to get together with Carolyn and, and um, Gary this week. I have some, uh, Larry, something back Larry's from supposed to get back. Larry on that. You did get something back from him? I'm sorry? Did you get something back from Larry? Because yes. last night we were waiting. Okay. Yes, I do have something back from Larry. But I need to get the exact numbers that the town has for the, for the painting and what's okay. in the um, uh, what's left. line items. What's left, okay. And uh, so I'll revise that for the for their meeting on Monday. So we'll have that done. So are okay. we stuck um, paying for a very expensive paint job? Yep. And then we There's still There's no have legal it. way out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and so we got to get the restoration done and then let the yes. painters come in and yeah. get the bundle on that? Okay. Yeah. We need more money to do that. Okay. Well, I think it'll be done, right? Yeah. No. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I, I think all the CPA members understood the dilemma of what, I did not emphasize why it happened. I just said, this is the hiccup. This is what happened. We need to go forward with it. Why paint it? If we, if, 
we have to restore them. And there's, there's a lot of question with regard to what, how much restoration will be needed. So, but they wanted some accurate figures, and I said, that's fine. Yeah, I thought, I thought, I thought you did a great job uh, giving them enough information to make a decision without rehashing all the, the hot right. sausage that yeah. I made. Yeah. Was, that was good, and I didn't hear anybody say, oh, yeah. this is stupid. Yeah. I think, hey, look, if, uh, if, if Hopkins can, can come back for more money to build the fields, and they did it two or three times, yeah. and that's big bucks, I'm sure you'll have no yeah. problem. So. So uh, th that should go good next, um, hopefully everything will go fine on Monday. Um, that's all I have. Um, Gary, you can talk about um, uh, trailers if you want to. Um, yeah. Well, she's decided to try to buy. I am getting prices on that right now in the works, all inclusive. She said that she has... Uh, we're, what we're talking about is um, replacing the DPW trailers. They're in very, in very poor shape. There's a lot of worry about health conditions down there. So uh, they're, they're out looking at... She, first, she was leasing. looking at leasing short term, or leasing. And then she says that she thinks that there's some funding available to purchase. So we're trying to get some prices. You know, it's... You know, you got to go for three different people, and you know we're trying to get some rough estimates together so that she can come up. You know, hooking them up. You know, getting them and set them up is one thing. Then you got to hook them up, wiring, plumbing, you know, all that stuff. So, so what are they? Are they three? Three, a, similar to what's there, not okay. redesign, redesign, not redesigning the whole thing. So they'd be put in the same places and all yeah, that. Yes. Okay. Not make a major change. Right. Yeah. yeah just. Pull them out of the way, hook them back up. Well, it's probably uh, for it, short term. It, well, it's it's cheaper that way than trying to you know yeah. put a double wide, move it somewhere where it really doesn't fit, you know, and then you're trying to adapt to that. So it's yeah. they deserve better, but we'll take it. Yeah. Well, what they have is jump it's worn out especially that little one it's it those, those are all used when they came there right. that little one's been there for what 25 years now at least maybe more yeah, yeah. and it was yeah. used then yeah because that was when i remember when i was plowing mike what was now the parts room i guess so mike's office and mike moved into that trailer and then that was the break room no mike, mike and mike's office was in that where what's the break room now and then they moved right. the offices into right. the trailer right first trailer, the old trailer. So that's uh, going to happen this fall, is she thinking? Uh, well, of course, since like anything, um, the availability on the trailers from one of the company that I'm talking with, they're five to six months out. So hopefully this is something we can get it out together and get the funding together. I don't know if it's going to be a town meeting vote, depending on the funding that she gets. But the, we, we, we already got a... a uh, Height of couch or full down couch, you know, seven months. Oh yeah, you know, it's made in this people, country. <laughs> I, I know people that were bought refrigerators on uh, tax free day. They said they're not going to see it until maybe February. Yeah. Well, the availability of a lot of stuff is 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 scary. What what there isn't to purchase nowadays, and at some of the prices are ridiculous. So. Uh, anybody else want to bring anything else up? Um, yeah, I will. Um, I did send out, I responded to your email. I don't know if everybody got the pictures. I saw it with the garage, yeah. Okay. Um, did you guys get pictures of the in your emails today? Yeah. All right. So basically, um, you know, Gary had the, um, the gutters cleaned and I guess they hose off some of the stuff. But, you know, I'm still. Right now, next to that man door, um, you can see that where it was painted. And that was back when uh, one of the guys backed a, a loader out of there and knocked down half yeah. the wall. Um, and that was at least, geez, that was before 2004 because I was still plowing for the town then. Um, but I would really like to see this committee somehow, I don't know, bring it to the attention of somebody that this building needs to be painted. You're saying that it this well, it, it does need to be painted, but before we paint it, they need we need to it. fix it. Well, of course, you, 
you know, well, put I, your car into the body work after. Right. And I get, I'm willing to get some quotes on and, the masonry repairs. But, you know, the other thing, yeah, and the masonry repairs is going to have to be, but, you know, we're always talking prevailing wage. And I brought this up to you the other day on, on the street when we talked, is, well, maybe Chris can go and um, ask at the next town meeting or when he's budgeting for a couple of temporary employees, hourly rate, no benefits, nothing. And I know you don't like the idea because they're a pain in the neck to work with, but you get a few people, and it's an easy job to roll that thing. Um, you don't need to be a great painter. You need somebody to supervise them, but to get them for next summer, to get that in there, and you could probably do it for a lot cheaper. Um, we did that all the time at the university. We hired uh, temporary employees. I know guys that worked for Belgian Town Park and Rep Mullen and for the highway department. They were temporary to work for the summer. Uh, I think it's a worth Would you be shot. willing to put together a little letter uh, uh, that w we could bring, you could bring in, and we could vote as a as a committee to give to the select board and say, hey, you know, we, we see this uh, as something that could be done, and this is how it could be handled inexpensively. But well, sure, you know, I, I mean, the first step is let's get we got to get the masonry repair, so let's get a price on that. Well, get, get a price on that, and that way we can go and um, that should be done even if you don't paint the building. Oh, absolutely. Know, you don't absolutely. want water if you keep uh, we just put, the We put new the windows in that, you know, storefront windows, and you've got now you've got cracks right. up above. You've got, you know, of course, don't forget, the last time you saw it get hit, it's been hit just about every other year since then. Well, so. Okay. But, okay, so let's get that price, and then put, we'll put together, yeah. But, but my point is, with saying this, is you keep letting paint jobs go, pointing go, whatnot, it looks like heck. Um, then you got to Russell School or North Hadley Hall, because we didn't take care of things when it was just a paint job. No, it, 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 it's, uh, that building's down to everything but pointing and paint job. We've done the roof, the gable ends, the gutters, the heating, the insulation, the windows, the electrical service. So. I mean, that's basically the only thing. Well, we did, we did repaint the inside of the garage part. Yeah, yeah and, that, and that's all good. With some and, of the but it, I, Yeah. It, it's let's, just an option versus paying the prevailing wage. Um, I don't, I wouldn't guess that there's any lead paint, but I'm, I'm sure we could have that shot. We yeah. could have that tested. Um, I doubt it. It was built in 70? 71. It's 78, is the the cutoff, but right. you, you've painted that building before. No, that building's never been painted, other than a couple of spots that he's talking about. But then you're required to have it tested. So, so I have it tested, and then if it's uh, and that, if it comes up positive, well, my idea is 90% out, right? Because then you got to have guys trained. Before you go get a company to do that, just go up to Rock Home Depot, Depot and Depot. get some. Those don't work. I got a guy that'll shoot it for me. Yeah, all right. So, um, you know, that's my, my thing on there. Um, and then maybe the other thing is, um, for the highway, we should be thinking about the fence. You saw that the cruiser had a radio yeah, stone so on it. Yeah, it was the uh, backup highway vehicle. Yeah. I've been talking about it for years. I mean, it's not, it's not so much the theft, because I, mean, I don't know why they smashed the back window, because I don't think they crawled through to get to the thing. Yeah. You smash the side windows, you're gonna steal a radio. Yeah. Um, but people have been, I've got videos of kids sliding down the sand pile, sliding down the snow piles in the way. You know, people walk out there all the time. You know, somebody's going to slide underneath a grader blade or something. Well, that's, I, then if all that's happening, we should, as a committee, put that in for our next I mean, the it's, next you know, town meeting. No, you it needs to be done. I think, or? It's if not, you're having I, it's not a budget, I'll tell you that, because I mean, there's there, you got quite a bit of fencing, and you got yeah. gates that have to be, you know, yeah. opened up every day because you know, it's a flow of yeah. traffic. You got, you well, know, the police go there every night and stuff for fuel. You, you got to go and think about <clears throat> really where where do you want the gate? Do you want it um, well, it at the road, or do you want it, um, you know, because the residents still want to be able to come in there and get sand. You know, the free right. Sand so, well, I mean, you might be able to read. You know, the problem so, is. So maybe, maybe you do it. Um, 
you cut Leave it off. space in between. I like where the uh, sewer plant fence is. We are in the works of getting uh, prices on a new fuel system, too, because that one is not going to let go. And the tanks are getting close to the end of their life expectancy. So that's another thing that's in the works. And if that happens, they, those would be relocated because one of the first surveys on that was, oh, well, you, saw, you remember that. Oh, mm -hmm. we're going to, re we could do an addition here. Well, the fuel pumps are there and they're brand new, so we're not going to do yeah. that. Well, that's so those will be relocated. So that right thought there. is that would be a above ground tank. Yeah, that's almost that's everybody's going it's above ground now. It's a lot less. So. Then Especially where right it can there. be located in, with the idea of adding on. So those those are things that are being worked on. Okay. Okay. So I really had that I wanted to bring up is really manly the painting of that building before it looks any worse than what it does. I agree. I mean, that's something we need to focus on and, and, and get. And you know, e even if it was a case where um, you got a couple of hourly employees to mow, and he used a couple of his regular guys that might be more talented on painting, um, you know, that that's up to Chris to um, manage whoever is working for him. But um, I think it can be done and be done cheaper. So far, yeah. Hey, what's okay. the uh, what's the little mini excavator doing back at Goodwin? Anybody know? You're on the library committee. It's not on. It's on the Goodwin property, not on the library. Yeah, they're getting ready to go for them this week, or they're going to dig up all the soil. Oh, is that what it's for? Okay. Who, who do they hire? Do we know? It's a master. Oh, good. His name's. Oh, that's right. I, I did know that. That's right. Yeah. 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 yeah good. I, any movement on the um, installation over the sally ports? I have not had a chance to do that. Do you think it had, is that something that may get done before this winter? Or? It could get done this winter, probably. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. As the season begins. Anything else, guys? Motion to adjourn. Seconded. All in favor of adjourning? Aye. Aye. Seven, eight. <coughs> when did you think we would have another meeting? Did you say you want to set something up for Joyce? Okay. Now the next meeting is try to set something up for Joyce's for Joyce? I want to hear back from Joyce. Oh, okay. uh, when she I asked her when she'll be available when she'd like the meeting, not email everybody right away. Okay. And see what you guys think. Hopefully she'll give us a couple of days. Yeah, that would be good. Okay. Yeah, and let's make let's push it up enough so we can get some answers on some of the other stuff. Yeah, I will be away uh, uh, from like the eighth of October yeah. through yeah. the like fourteenth or so. Yeah, me too. That yeah, would go more towards the end of October. Are we going? Yeah, that week, that same week as Dan. Okay. I mean, we're, right. we're almost at the beginning of October anyway, so yeah. I would I'd like to see at least a month. Okay. Okay. Or so. We'll see what she wants. I'll, I'll take another crack at the language in the survey to try to, you know, uh, incorporate what we've been talking okay. about. All right. And send it around. That'd be nice. Appreciate okay. it. Um, October. Well, let's see what Joyce wants. If she, I mean, yeah, just tell her after after the middle of the month. Towards yeah. the end of the month. Yeah. Right before, right before the first snowstorm. I don't think we're going to get any of this year. We get too much rain. 